Hello, I wanted to share something unusual with you today. Uh, this is an Edam cheese. Edam cheese is kind of an old world uh, soft creamy cheese. I think it's kind of like a Gouda. And I just wanted to show this to you because it's a little unusual and uh, you don't see it every day. Maybe around the holidays you get these special cheeses. This one was a pretty good deal. It was like two pounds was like around nine bucks or something like that but anyway I just wanted to share it with you and show you what's inside so first thing I'm gonna do is just cut this fancy uh, plastic wrapping off of here and get into this cheese ball it is a uh, coated in wax this whole cheese and I, I left it sit out for a couple of hours at room temperature I prefer my cheese to be softer not ice cold and rock hard uh, it's pretty cool this actually looks like a hand spun wax ball it's not uniform in, in shape so it's kind of neat alright we're just gonna cut this right down the middle show you what's inside if you've never had one of these you should get one and by the way if you don't have a cheese knife like this what the hell are you using when you're cutting cheese look at that it cuts so easy uh, a little bit of wax here, I will uh, wipe this off, but other than that, it's, it works great. Micro serrations, the point allows you to pick some cheese up as well. Very cool, and this is made in Germany. So, uh, now that I got this cheese cut in half, I can see what's in here. Pretty neat. I'm going to slice some of it up and serve it with a tomato. Okay, once I got this uh, cheese uh, cut in half, I can easily remove the wax. And the wax is kind of cool. I'm going to save some of it uh, for my cheese platter. Just a small piece. And we're going to have uh, some of the cheese coming out of the wax just to represent that it was wax coated. Okay? So this cheese now, uh, you can decide what you're going to do. I'm pairing it up with some tomatoes. So I want it to be about that size. So I think what I'm going to do is just cut it in half like this. Reserve one chunk off to the side, and the other one's just going to get sliced. Uh, whenever I cut cheese, I got to do a tasting because uh, I need to know what it tastes like in order to serve it to people and describe it. So uh, this particular cheese, I'm going to try a piece just right out of the center. Oh yeah, nice and smooth and creamy. Okay cuts very very easy with this knife and now I'm going to put together a little display okay I got a couple of uh, nice tomatoes here this is an heirloom tomato and we're going to put just half this tomato out here and uh, to match it up we're going to just slice it this will be served with crackers cheese and crackers and tomato oh yeah I like it and you could do this for a catering party, a holiday party, or whatever. And uh, it's nice. Also got this other tomato here. Very different looking tomato. This is a like a dark heirloom style. And this is a uh, uh, beefsteak tomato here. Okay that's enough tomato there alright now we're just gonna assemble this very quickly also adding a little bit of apple because apple goes nicely with cheese and uh, it's just a nice garnish just a very simple uh, slice like this however today I'm gonna do something different that I haven't shown you I'm gonna fan these out do a batonet cut here. Okay. All right. Now we're going to put this together and assemble it. This is a batonet cut of an apple. Okay, to assemble this cheese platter, 
I've decided to use a uh, pizza peel today. Just something different for you, okay? I'm going to put that peel right over here. Move all this stuff out of the way. And uh, assemble this, this baby. Alright. First thing I'm going to do is put down my, uh, my piece of wax. Just to show the, 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 uh, the guess. Hey, this was a wax coated cheese. It's pretty cool. All right, then I'm gonna have the cheese coming out from the, the wax like this in uh, just a simple spread out fashion like so. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. <clears throat> okay, try to give it a little bit of height. Use this piece of cheese here. Okay, got some apples over here. Just a couple of chunks of apples and my apple batonets over here. Uh, you can get a little fancier with the uh, pattern if you want to. Just depends how much time you got to spend on this stuff, right? Okay. People are going to eat these apples up. Okay. All right. A little bit of tomato here. Two kinds. Uh, another thing I'm going to put on here is uh, just got a little bit of Swiss cheese. I'm going to put just a couple pieces of Swiss. The Swiss is just another texture. And uh, one more cheese I've got here today. This is some Parmigiano Reggiano. And if you know anything about cheese, and you know this is the good stuff here. Uh, everybody likes Parmesan, and it's really good for you. In Italy, uh, they feed it to the babies to make them strong and healthy. And it's just an amazing uh, high-quality cheese. So this is the Reggiano right here. With the Reggiano, I prefer to serve a cheese knife like this, a small knife. Let's people break up the... Uh, break up the, the this goes this is fresh basil this goes perfectly with the tomato so there you go that's it the pizza peel cheese platter interesting nice unusual hey whatever you want to call it works for me Okay, pizza peel cheese platter. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.